We are Americans. I am fed up with the ignorant Americans. I am sick of the cowards who sit at home on their couches waiting for others to do something. The ones who sit scared of losing something, anything. Scared to offend their neighbor. Scared to step out into the light. I am saddened by the sunshine patriots who stood on overpasses but now won't raise a finger. Yeah, I know you were taken advantage of by the corrupt TPC and other groups who claim to be fighting for you, but the government does that to you every day, and you still do nothing. They sit on the la their lazy, entitled asses, enjoying everything the blessings of being born in America grants them, as they deserve them, as if they deserve them, just for being born here. Why don't they get that someone else paid for it forward for them? Why are they so unwilling to do it for others? Have we fallen so far? Have we become such cowards that we will not stand for ourselves or even our children? It is as if they won the geographical lottery and are yet unwilling to pay for the ticket, but they want to keep their winnings. They may hold on to that treasure for a little while, but it will fade away as life leaves their bodies. Freedom will die with their generation. They do not share it with their children. In fact, they doom all of our children to have to fight for it all over again. They allow the opportunities and the freedoms they have enjoyed to be stripped from future generations of Americans, and they do it for the worst reason, fear. I hope they walk around feeling shame for their disgraceful and selfish lack of action. However, I am sure they do not, or they would not continue to linger in the gray area of ignorance, blind, blissful, or willing or willingly unaware, they hold on to tight to their winnings. But all the while, the government is shackling their ankles and robbing their pockets. They are the people who took, who look the other way when they hear a call for help. The cowards who hear gunshots and leave women and children behind in search of their own salvation. The proverbial greedy fool in the movies who perishes because he won't let go of the elder earthly treasure to save his own life. They have remained motionless while the country around them falls apart. They are keeping their cabin clean on a sinking ship. And because of them, in the end, it won't matter. We will all drown. We need all hands on deck or we will end up in the depths, each of us frantically trying to stay above water and pushing others down to do it. So we all drown because they failed to use the tools already at our disposal to correct the course and save the ship. We already have that power. We are just fooled into thinking that we do not. Fooled into thinking we are alone. The media makes sure of that. It has become their new mission. <clears throat> no longer do they work for the people as they were meant to, as a check on the government for the people. They now work to keep the people in check for the government. Maybe they don't notice it because they're caught in the matrix, wrapped up in things society decides are important, but really don't matter at all. They are useful idiots, fools. Yet most are not even aware. They are molded into a tool for the machine, watching what they want you to watch, hating what they want you to hate, buying what they want you to buy. They are lemmings, and they seem to be fine with that. What other reason could there be for this inaction? I find it hard to believe that more than 10% actually want America to fall, at least 10% of Americans anyway. The world has been hoping for America to fall since its inception. They will continue to do so, but then what... What will be what would be what would we be left with? China and Russia as the world superpowers, the rise of North Korea, Iran, and other rogue states looking to take their place in the of the American pie, all because our gluttonous, lazy bodies couldn't stuff our faces anymore with the sweet American pie, apple pie of liberty. We never took a break to exercise to maintain our constitutional republic. Instead, we fell into a sort of food-induced coma, and the world around us creeps in to pluck our vineyards and steal our treasure. Those of you who are awake, turn to your friend, turn to your family, your coworkers, shake them and let them know they are needed if we are to retain our country. They do not need to be on the front lines and I and others will stand in that gap. Just be there to help prop me up when the inevitable attacks come. Put your hands on my back and help me to stand against it. Help us all to fight it. There are many ways to help support us in this fight for our very nation. We already have the tools we need. We already have the framework we need. We only need the numbers to make an impact as, as we fight the greatest enemy liberty has ever seen, the tyrant. If not now, then when? If not you, then who? These are the times that try men's souls. 
the summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will in this crisis shrink from their service of their country, but he that stands by it now deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered, yet we have this consolation with us, that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. What we obtain too cheap, we esteem too lightly. It is dearness only that gives everything its value. Heaven knows how to put a proper price upon its goods, and it would be strange indeed if so celestial an article as freedom should not be highly rated. Thomas Paine. It is time to turn to your fellow Americans and wake them up. It doesn't matter where they fall on the political spectrum. That isn't important. Every American has promised those inalienable rights. Even if we disagree on some issues, we should be able to come together for this purpose and let all those silly debates and disagreements they use to weaken and divide us fall away for now. This is too important to bicker about gay rights or voter ID or whatever other manufactured wedges they use to divide us and keep us weak. We the people have the power. We have just forgotten how to use it. It is time to decide. Will you suffer on your knees forever or live on your feet? I know it's hard to stand when you have been kneeling so long, but it feels so good to stretch those legs. So just do that. Stand up with us and then turn to your friends and family and help them stand with us. You are we the people and you are not alone in this fight. The, the war rages on whether you acknowledge it or not. You will fight with us. You will. Will you fight with us for liberty or live as a servant to the tyrants that would put you and keep you in chains? No longer can you be a lemming clogged up, clogging up the battlefield and being used as a puppet by the media to stand in freedom's way. Pick a side or get out of the way. Not choosing in itself is a choice. And if you remain idle, you might as well be idle on your knees because not only will you remain there, but you'll damn other generations to that fate as well. We are Americans. <laughs>